hello hello hi guys um this just might be the first video of the year we thought we'd just do a quick checkup a very chilled vlog um yeah just for us to start off the year sorry hubby is in this vlog but he's because he was he's gonna be in this vlog but he was also part of the other video that we just finished filming now. The reason why I just <laughs> the reason why I actually wanted to um, film this vlog is just to also give you a bit of an update as to what's happening um, and where we're at, so that when we kick off all the proper videos that you love on this channel that are insightful and that we all learn from, not only you but we all learn from, they're gonna kick off in the next week after these two videos come out so yes two videos this week we're cranking it up a notch <laughs> i almost said something but you wouldn't have caught it you would be like this girl's crazy okay so yeah um it is the beginning of the year definitely took some time off uh, my hand's gonna get tired so let me put this on a stand um so i was supposed to do one more video from vlogmas um but right after that i got sick so what happened in that week um i we obviously we went to the tea to the wife brunch and then thereafter we were doing some run around preps for my friend's um wedding i actually re i wanted to vlog that but then i also realized that my friend is a private person and it's I, I I can always read the space so I can always read whether I, I'm, I'm gonna vlog or not and because it was so because it was about her I didn't want us to be vlogging our errands even though they were very basic very light-hearted you know but still respecting my friend's space and yeah she probably wouldn't even have known but you know when you can just feel but we ended up having a good time and also spending time together with the other bridesmaids as well. Um, so I'm also very conscious of that. So after that, um, I got sick, um, had uh, sinusitis or hold on, got sick, had sinusitis or almost like a sinus infection that got very, very bad. Um, it affected a bit of my ears, it affected, so I, 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 like I, I got terrible headaches from the inside of my eyeballs um and then it got to the point where i couldn't smell or taste for two days so we were kind of like so the doctor was like no don't stress obviously because of sinusitis i had a lot of post nasal dripping the works the works and being in the state that i'm or in the current state that i'm in now i can't take all the medication so i have to literally rest drink water and take the bare minimum of tablets so we did that and i was good after about for the week i just rested for the week and by then it was already christmas so yeah that's what happened unfortunately life happens decided to take the rest of the year off just to rest and try not to because vlogmas gay was done gay after that <laughs> it was done um and then yeah fast forward this year um thought we would vlog a couple of things more but we got yeah our family members started getting sick with covid i thank god really really i do because personally you know i would not like to go to another funeral i would not like to do that um i can only pray and continue to cover my family but not only i think because also things happen close to home and happen to your older people your aunts your parents your grandparents it made me really just stay in prayer for everyone and the new year wasn't really a new um wasn't a clean slate as every new year is exciting and clean and we get to do things afresh and new again um yeah so the new year wasn't that it wasn't the stuff where we get to start again but really i think that we're being strengthened for such a time to really take up our mantles as children of god and really intercede for people um not only for our families but for everyone so for me every time i'd see something on my timeline i would genuinely genuinely pray for that family because kuklumu guys you know for us to be losing our parents and i thought to myself i would hate you know for my child to grow up without a grandparent i had one you know because the other two had passed away before i was born yeah bloody bloody blah, blah, blah so just even growing up with that one was absolutely incredible grandparents are a blessing and i want that for my children as well um so yeah 
So that's where we're at. And I hope that understand that we don't stay away half the time because we want to, but because we have to. And I know the messages come from a good place. Hey, we miss you. Or when are you uploading? I know there's that desire. I know we signed up for this, you know, but also understand that when we take breaks, it's not because we hate what we do, but because there are probably other things that are happening that need our time and attention. So with that being said, today we are, oh, I wanted, I'm just going to give you a quick update on where we're at with regards to baby preps, because um, we're in the new year, and then we're going to go and spend the day with our friends. Um, we're going to take their gifts, got them some gifts, because yeah, we got them some gifts. When we went to their wedding, actually, um, me being me, I forgot to get the gifts. So I got the gifts. <laughs> so we're gonna go and drop them off this in Pretoria. And yeah, we don't know what we'll do again. I respect people's spaces, but I'm just gonna vlog the day and we're also gonna vlog with Happy in the car. Just wanted to show you some of the stuff that we got for baby in the meantime. Oh yes, so we also spent um, some of the year or the beginning and end of the year literally buying as much as we could buy um, for the baby. So um, we've, we've got the bigger stuff the more pricier stuff which i'm grateful for because that one was something that we we're trying to save and plan for and budget for so i thank god that we can that we can, that we were able to get that stuff done so let me just show you around what we got um some of the stuff is still in boxes i'm not planning on unpacking anything anytime soon um this place this house is a is in shambles or let me say the space is in shambles so yeah but we'll talk about that stuff some other time this is some of the stuff that we have in here we've i got the the warmer maybe i must do a haul let me know below if you want me to do a haul of what we have so far but i don't think that's necessary also i'm just showing you what we have we have a couple of linen savers i know i need more but we just got a little bit of the basics and our baby bag um we actually went to woolies and saw another beautiful one so might just cop that one too um we have a carrier then we have a gift there from caesar and Mzwa. and here we have hold on and then i just put that day in here we have some of baby's clothes from my sister obviously because my family knows the gender i can't show you that one but if you do follow me on instagram you would have seen me unbox a gender neutral um um set over there the crib the box at the back is the crib this box is the changer again we're not gonna set it up anytime soon because you know yeah so that's from true baby so what we so what we're gonna do um what i can do is just link it below so that you can have a look at what it looks like but yeah this is the cabinet the cot as well is from true baby and then as you can see we have things like the car seat and the pram that is not yet assembled so we've got quite a couple of things, but we'll continue this conversation in the car with Habi, just so that we can also speak about how we are trying our best to prepare as parents. And that will also be part of the vlog. So it's like a life update vlog intro situation. It helped, gang pain. We hope you guys can hear us. Must I yes. check the sound? <laughs> sound check. check the we sound are snacking. I'm... <laughs> Is he a good dinner date or lunch date? Mara, we are eating. Ah, but so one thing about me is that this channel for this time is going to turn into a mukbang channel. <laughs> they'll be eating, they'll be chewing. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Never made. Muchachos loves me. Oh. I'm still your driver, but you know Mama drive. It's 2021, I'm not talking about Mama's food. Okay. So, I really hope the sound, because I realized in the other vlog, we could hear the car. Yeah, a lot. So, you can also slow down that night. Maybe if we go to that lane. Okay. My chips, why about my chips crunch, baby? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.
yeah. of course we're doing our best to prepare and pray for the baby <laughs> but <laughs> but I thank God that so far the baby's alright um, yeah, no, and then it. yeah so what we will do is we will decide obviously those close to us already know the baby's gender because my <laughs> husband one thing about my husband you'll talk I'm, I'm happy I'm a, I'm a happy man so I hope he has <laughs> <laughs> One thing about my husband, he'll talk. <laughs> so we thought maybe it'd surprise them, but then again, it's like more sur it's like we feel like they're part of our journey, so we just kind of of the family we let them know. Yeah. Um yeah. So anyway, we got some of the stuff. We are preparing to do a lot. Some of the stuff we won't say. We've also learned on the channel that as much as we want to be open, sometimes people can do the most. So we have gone back to being a little bit more reserved about our plans. We'll be a little bit more reserved about our plans and our desires. And we will obviously let you know certain things once they've happened. But again, we won't fully show a lot of the things. We want to protect, you know, our space. We want to protect our relationship and our families and things like that. Um, but we will share uh, things as much as we can. Even to the point I was like, babe, imagine like would we vlog? I've been obs I've been obsessed personally with childbirth vlogs um, recently. Just watching them, watching what they're all about. Um, I don't know if it's something that we would do. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. I'm neither <laughs> yes. I'm neither no. I'm enjoying the content. What I liked about the content is that it shows you such a vast experience mm. that people go through. So for me, I'm all for that. We've seen some people like Lady Lovebug. Hold on. Wait, why lama chipsa baba? I be mama lama chipsa baba. Let me move the camera. So I've seen people like Lady Lovebug. Um, the the Mako Makul clan or something like that where she shared her birth experience which I think was beautiful it was intense I've seen um, she's on Ikarabot underscore Didi on Instagram she's shared her birth vlog on Instagram which was so emotional but so nice because you get um, an insight on that so yeah we, we will decide if we share that stuff we will see guys we're not gonna make any promises anymore we're just gonna do and we'll let you know so one of the things that we are doing this year obviously is preparing for the baby that's the most important yeah i know yeah and how do you feel becoming a father i think <laughs> as time goes and as the baby grows it becomes more real <laughs> The other day I woke up, I'm like, hey, no, to pregnant. Do you remember? It's like, yeah, I've been pregnant. Like, yeah, obviously, also because now the stomach only started growing fully in showing. December. Yeah. Like, fully showing late it's December. Cute, yeah, I like it. Oh, yeah. I really do, I really do. Yeah, yeah as a father, mm -hmm. I'm ready to die. I'm excited, happy, and a bit nervous because I've never done this before. So, mm -hmm. But I'm really am happy. Because even now, it's even pushing me at work. Like, men span it, yeah. So, Yes, I've been working for my wife and myself, but now it's actually nicer making some and all that stuff. So it has pushed me to the point that yes, physically you have to uh, create the environment uh, where you can. Don't pressurize yourself, but where you can create that environment. But so far, I've, I've seen my wife being okay and being happy with the preparation. So going forward, interesting journey. But I'm looking forward to it. Eh? Your, Beautiful. Your, what actually? What have you? noticed um being obviously we know that there are many situations and circumstances that people find themselves in where they can't help but be a single parent yeah. unfortunately there's an extreme of rape yeah. but there's also the, the the situation of you know relationships don't work out especially if people found themselves you know having sex while dating yeah, yeah. and be, because you know they yeah they just end up splitting ways and stuff like that from your experience right now how important do you feel that a partner is you know and yeah and and how yeah how do you think that that's how do you think it's because especially some people are like why what's the importance of having a partner when you have a child and again not looking down yeah. on single moms who have raised like, because for the like, bulk of your life you honestly you were raised yeah, single single, by, single by your mom singly oh. yeah he, um, his dad only came a little later on in his life to be precise when he was an adult so yeah. raising a child we want is, is work but from what you've experienced what are the, the pros and the joys of having a partner do it for me um, it starts from my experience personal experience um, it was, it was a 
it was great. My mother tried her best to raise me. But I feel like if my father was around, I would have pushed a bit more further. I would have, um, I don't know, there's, there's a certain element that a father figure does mm. and also pushes you in terms of your career and how you see yourself as well. Because I, I had to fill that gap with church mostly. So and that's why I'm grateful to church. Mm. People that were there in my life, they mentored me, they saw, but there is something missing. So. Uh, going back to the question is that yes it is very important number one from the beginning stages at work wherever i'll see a patient coming alone um to do so now it's just it's just okay mm. it's just functional but it's not beautiful the way it is intended to be so i'll see even if the father is not involved it's just sitting there scrolling through the phone me and i'm boom i just involve them i'm like come see and all that stuff so they start laughing and then they come mm. so it's so much beautiful to the point that you can feel or you can yeah see happiness in the room mm. so that's the beauty of it and that's just before the baby's born so you can imagine if the and baby's born the bond. and it creates the bond mm. then you can see from the child's perspective Madakula, you see people that never quit and just changes them and just becomes a better person mm. so for me, it's very important. It's a, it's a, it's a pro because it's, it I think it's it's a pro and it's a blessing as well. It is. It we is. don't take it for granted because, to be quite honest, guys, it was a yenze in clubbing. Yeah, yeah, no. We are not perfect, and that's one of the things that I wanted to speak about, especially on this channel. That the way this channel is gonna go, I want to. I took people through, you know, the journey of marriage and relationships last year, which I think built people. But I also want us to go sure. through the parts that are not beautiful. To understand that how we are able to navigate through such situations that are not the most perfect. That's what I want to do through this channel. So the wife talks might be a bit different. Like they might not only be solely for wives. Um, that's how I was like. I, I'm, I was thinking. I'm like. I don't. I don't want to rename because wife talks has become a bit of a standalone name on its yeah. own, which is I think great. But we also want to go through the parts where people who are single moms, you know, how do and you how do we, how do they navigate those things, you know, with Christ? How do they go through the realities of saying and to be okay to say that? Because I think sometimes, especially as Christian people, we we are just forced to quote, "I can do all things through Christ," and it's true we can, yeah. but we are also human beings who have emotions and feelings. How do we navigate the fact that when we are feeling upset and yeah. saying, Lord, I'm upset that this person left me. I'm upset that my parents didn't raise me like this. I'm upset that this person had to die. God, how, how did you let them leave? How do they navigate that space and come back to a point where they, they make decisions to grow and build healthy lives despite what they've been through? Um, and that's really what I want to do. That even if people see perfect pictures, we must understand who Tindela said to Zichukile. They are so different. Um, that's that's really what I want from this channel. So that everybody who comes to this channel doesn't feel condemned. That's why I was saying whether you've had sex before, you can come back and still be on this channel and understand that the decisions that you make going forward can be better. I don't care, personally. I don't care how many times you've made that mistake or you've made that decision because sometimes it's not a mistake and people no, like no, saying no, no. Like, just, just cheating a was a mistake ah you decided some of the things we decided we're like i if i die i die i know that there are so many decisions that are made that were yeah that i was just like oh whatever my love i'll do it i'll okay. tell you <laughs> uh yeah so after we've decided and made those made those sometimes not the best decisions how do we come out of that so for me my new year's for this channel looks like that it looks like honesty and transparency i love i love channels that are honest and transparent i don't even look for the perfect curated content anymore it's great if you, you have a the truth it's great if you have you a have drone the truth. if you have a drone with a nice shot it's awesome but i also want to leave that channel being so fulfilled even if it doesn't relate to me i'm i want to learn uh, me and my husband and I yeah. were watching Nozibele's channel. Ah, um, yeah. who, I love it. Who, I mean, guys, for me personally, I've only seen HIV from far. Not even from far, maybe a little bit closely. My mom's um, close, one of my mom's close friends who passed away many years ago. So that was my first experience as a child. So outside of that, I don't, I just know extended people who are affected or infected by it. But to, to be informed, you know, to be educated about. 
about something whether it affects you or not i think is absolutely amazing so i binge on that channel i don't care i may not have to take arvs but i will watch it i'll watch the video about <laughs> ARVs because i'm going to learn because i might meet someone one day who will know or who might be going through that and then i'll know how to say go to the channel this is what i learned from them you know and have compassion same here i will refer because this is that we, we can't handle it you know? yeah as medical practitioners but we just can't yeah so we're just going to refer yeah yeah, I know. yeah so that's that's where we're at so practitioners i, I heard you i got you my love <laughs> We are in this, so yeah. So that's that's where we're at this year. We are being honest and transparent. Um, I do believe in boundaries because we also realized last year that as we opened up a little bit, you know, some comments started getting a bit spicy. So I'm, I will continue to ask and say, let's always keep the comments kind and clean, you know. Um, but more than anything, also for the subscriptions, the family grew so much last year, and I really want to say thank you, really, guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. Um, the three of us. Oh, all Bantu. Yeah, Because it, it, you know, subscriptions may not be everything, but they also do mean a lot because it shows good there are people who really Many. want something from this channel and want something from us. So, yeah, with, I want to say thank you also for those who have followed on Instagram. We grew there as well. And I want that, I want that content to be as authentic as well. Okay. So, yeah.
sugar no, <laughs> these are our friends that we came to visit today it's so pretty we are about to close off this vlog we started it yeah, we started in the car. Majority of it is the car. So it's a car kind of vlog. We're going to spend a little bit of the afternoon here and then go back to their place. You know, as vlog is in Zabant. I as vlog is in Zabant. So we just, we all just chill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there they are, the Nduli. Some of you might know them. Um, they, are more, they are more on Facebook. So what do you remember when I'm a friendship request? He doesn't have space. He doesn't have space. No, you're not full now, eh? Uh, <laughs> oh, well. I'm a celeb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're going to close off this vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed that intro. We have another video coming up after this. So I hope that you subscribe. Do all the things that you need to do. And then to like it. Yes. And like it. And like. Yes. And, and, and. We'll catch you guys on the next one.